of potassium. Well, as we approach that, due to repolarization, eventually we're going to go back to the resting membrane, pota uh, resting membrane potential of the cell. And thus, and this is the period where the inward and the outward currents of potassium are equal, and we reach potassium equilibrium potential. And then the cell depolarizes again, goes through a little initial repolarization, and then plateaus out, and then we repolarize. Now you probably wonder, why did we have to go through all this trouble just to talk about the action potential inside the ventricular system? Well, remember, let's take a look at that picture I drew initially of the SNO depolarization initially. What does SNO do? It uses sodium, and then it uses calcium, and then it uses potassium, right? Calcium, influx of sodium, or resting member potassium, uh, uh, sodium, calcium, and this is the, for the SA node, that is the phase zero. So what I want you to see here is the phase zero, which actually causes the depolarization of the SA node, actually requires calcium compared to the depolarization of the ventricles, or the atrium, which requires Sodium, that is the big difference. That is the big difference. That is why the intrinsic rate of phase four depolarization, so this is phase four, remember? This is phase four, right? Phase four is here again. Four, zero, one, two, and three, four. The intrinsic rate of depolarization in the SA node is the fastest. The intrinsic rate of depolarization in the heart is the fastest in the SA node. So the SA node depolarizes faster than the AV node, which depolarizes faster than the His bundle, which depolarizes faster than the Purkinje fibers. Now, why am I mentioning this? This is because the SA node is what controls our heart rate. Yes, exactly. So what is our normal heart rate? Well, our normal heart rate is between 60 to 100 beats per minute. So when the SNO depolarizes, it depolarizes and causes depolarization of the myocytes, spreading into the myocytes. When the myocytes receive this, they're all going to undergo this pathway, right? And then they're going to depolarize, and then they contract. When they contract, they're going to squeeze the blood from the atrium straight into the ventricles. But the ventricles is not going to receive the depolarization coming from the SA node to the AV node. The depolarization from the Purkinje fibers is going to spread to the ventricles. Now the cardiac myocytes are going to undergo this again. They're going to go through this phase where they depolarize. When they depolarize, they're going to now contract, right? When they contract, now you're going to be able to squeeze the blood inside the right ventricle and the left ventricle straight down into the pulmonary circulation and the aortic circulation. This is how the cardiac conduction system works. Extremely, extremely important. Now that we have talked about the cardiac action potential, we are going to move forward and now talk about cardiac electro physiology.